All right, trying something different today. Hello and welcome back to the Decod Discast. Today is Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. And today we're talking about a whole bunch of stuff. We've got a rumor about Wondrous Journey's fireworks not returning until early 2024. A reopening date announced for Space Mountain in Disneyland. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit annual pass holder magnet is coming to Epcot. And of course, a bear in a tree at Magic Kingdom. Let's go. All right, just go down the line here. So a reopening date has been announced for Space Mountain in Disneyland. The official reopening date is October 26, 2023. There's been some talks, rumors, discussions of Disney uh, exploring the option to sell ABC to Next Star. And because of that, Disney felt like they needed to issue an official response to that. So Disney said that the um, that the reports today were unfounded, but that it's considering a variety of strategic options for its linear businesses. Here is the statement. While we are open to considering a variety of strategic options for our linear businesses, at this time, the Walt Disney Company has made no decision with respect to the divestiture of ABC or any other property, and any report to that effect is unfounded. Yesterday, the Avengers Vault opened at Disney California Adventure. The merchandise location also has a new backstory, which you can read. Here. I'll read it to you. Uh, for two years, superheroes have been assembling across space and time to train the next generation of heroes. They use the Avengers Campus as a hub for multi-world exploration, keeping unique artifacts they've collected here. However, the most powerful relics of their collection have been kept closed in the Avengers Vault until now. For the first time, recruits, you have clearance. In the Avengers Vault, guests will find artifacts from other worlds, like an orphaned Captain America shield found by Ant-Man, an empty Iron Man armor suit webbed up by Spider-Man, and foreign Infinity Stones found by the Hulk. The Avengers Vault is now open at Disney California Adventure. We're bipping and bopping back and forth between Florida, California, it doesn't matter where we're going, we're going somewhere because here we go. Next up, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I love Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And it's an annual pass holder magnet, and it's coming soon to Epcot. And by what I mean coming soon, tomorrow. You just hop on over to the creation shop starting tomorrow until October 23rd while supplies last. And of course, tomorrow you'll see all over social media the very long line for everybody that has to go and get the very first magnet. And I don't understand why, because it's till October 23rd. I know it says while supplies last, but just even wait a couple days and the line won't be that long, but have fun waiting an hour and a half for your magnet. But I know I want to go get one. <sighs> Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, the Disney Treasure, is setting sail the summer of 2024. And one of the announcements they made was a cocoa themed restaurant that's going to be on board with characters. The new restaurant will be called Plaza del Co Plaza de Coco. And in the concept art, you can see Miguel is playing his guitar on stage, which of course means that there's going to be uh, people, characters involved while you're dining. They also confirmed there's going to be musical performances by a mariachi band while you dine, making this spot the very first theatrical dining experience themed to Coco anywhere on Disney property. I usually don't spit rumors, but I'm just going to spit this one out. Wondrous Journeys Fireworks. The rumor states that it's not going to return in early 2024 at Disneyland Forever is coming back. So Wondrous Journeys debuted in January of 2023 as part of the Disney 100 celebrations at Disneyland Resort. The show featured exclusively films from the Walt Disney Studios, so no Pixar or Star Wars. It included elements from every Walt Disney Animation Studio movie to date from Snow White to Strange World. It's unknown when Disneyland Forever will return, but it's probably going to be sometime in early 2024. 2024 after the final performance of Believe in Holiday Magic. A Walt Disney World bus got a new rap. Not like a bucket a point to get. Not like that kind of rap, which that was even that was completely terrible. A new rap as in like on the bus itself. This one is Coco. Uh, the new wrapped guest transportation is at the Walt Disney World Transportation and Ticket Center. Speaking about Walt Disney World Transportation, let's go to the Skyliner. One of the Skyliner gondolas got a new wrap as well, and this one is Encanto. The Star Tours Endo Mur Endor. I can't talk today. The Star Wars Endor Mural got a refresh. 
uh, at Hot Disney's Hollywood Studios. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's always great when you get a fresh coat of paint, especially on that mural. I'm the one. I love Star Tours. However, I do have one complaint. Everything is nicely air conditioned until you get in the damn vehicle and it's a sweat box. Can you please pump some air conditioning into the ride vehicle? Whew. The Solarium reopened at Disney's Beach Club Resort. This is a, a room that the only time I've ever seen it used is when it's raining outside and the lifeguards and everyone has to go inside and they do the, the, um, the pool activities in that room. Otherwise, I don't know what else you would use it for. They do have a TV in there when you have movies. But the last time we visited Beach Club, I noticed that they were renovating the solarium, which is, it's not really funny, but I want to say a month ago when we were staying at Beach Club, I noticed as I was walking through the solarium that I'm like, wow, this floor looks like trash. Like it looks really beat up. They need to renovate this. They need to rejuvenate it, bring some new life to it. And well, that's what they did. They probably heard me. You know, they probably, they listened to me all the time. And they're probably like, yo, Steve said that this floor looks like trash. We got to fix it. And that's exactly what they did. So we reopen. I'm looking at some of these pictures right now. And I'll tell you what, this looks, they did a really good job. It looks like they reused the same chairs, but probably reupholstered it and stuff like that but repainted it new flooring looks really nice uh it's more i feel like it's more open they changed the layout of it just a tad new colors it looks it looks really nice they did a great job congrats thank you for showing some love into something that was super old and needed a touch up something very different happened yesterday at the magic kingdom Guests entered the park. I'm sure they checked wait times prior to that, or but half of Magic Kingdom was closed for pretty much half the day yesterday. And we, I'm following the news, and I come to find out that it was due to a black bear that was in a tree uh, at uh, I think it was in Adventureland the reports said. Uh, but let me read this to you. In a statement, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission said that it was aware of reports of a black bear spotted in a tree at Magic Kingdom Park at Walt Disney World. Biologists with the FWC's statement continued, in most cases, it is best for bears to be given space and move along on their own. But given this situation, staff are working on capturing and relocating the bear. Um, of course, the situation was that half of Magic Kingdom was closed, and I mean, as a guest paying over $100 a day to go to Magic Kingdom, I would be like, why are like, I don't know, 12 attractions closed? I mean, come on. But yeah, definitely move along, Bear. Move along. Um, according to the update from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, it was an adult female black bear and was safely captured at Magic Kingdom. The bear was spotted in a tree earlier today, earlier today, which was yesterday, captured, captured in a wooded area away from guests along the northern section of the Rivers of America at Magic Kingdom. The bear will be relocated to an area in or around the Ocala National Forest, according to the FWC. All attractions were reopened around early afternoon yesterday, with the exception of the Walt Disney World Railroad, which uh, the FWC said that needed to be closed for the remainder of the day. Uh, Adventureland, Frontierland, and Liberty Square were all closed for more than three hours yesterday morning as the bear was spotted and captured. I went ahead and took the opportunity of this to make a couple memes some memes and posted them on Decot's social media. I hope you got to see it. If not, go check it out. I think they're kind of funny. Let me know what you think. I got a little kick out of it making them. <laughs> and that's gonna be. Oh wait, wait. Oh, just a new, another rumor. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna share it because <laughs> sometimes they're fun. But this rumor is that Epcot's new nighttime spectacular. Remember what it was called? It was like Illuminations Harmony Junk. Just kidding. Illuminous. It's delayed, so the, the new Luminous show is going to be delayed after Pinar Toprak musical score failed to meet expectations. Let me get in on this a little bit more. Let me give some more details. So reportedly, Disney was very unhappy with the work done by composer Pinar Toprak, who's a longtime collaborator who also worked with Disney on Harmonious 
as well as Captain Marvel and the new Epcot Anthem. Sources indicated that about 70% of the show's music is being redone. Hmm. You can listen to the Epcot Anthem by Pinar Toprak at the Beacons of Magic show. Okay, now that's going to be it for today's DCOD Discast. As always, thanks for joining and thanks for listening. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll be here to give you some more news and stuff like that. And all the f- silliness and magical shnamadas on Friday. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Thank you! <laughs> Disney's newest cruise line, the Shape Party. Oh, you're going to love me today. I'm going to leave you with a man shaving. Yes, that's, that's right, a man shaving. Magic Kingdom, Main Street, USA, West Center Street, man shaving. Oh,